This is Scott the Fix It Guy. Today we're dealing with the Dynasty oven that doesn't heat up on bake or is not heating as quickly as it should. So we're going to replace the bake igniter. We're to open the door and we're going to pull out these racks. It's pretty easy, they just come right out. Slide them out. I'm going to grab the bottom plate here by these two edges. Pull them out slowly, kind of wiggle it, and it'll come out, and that'll accelerate the igniter. This model is really easy to get to. Put that plate off to the side. And then here we have the Venturi gas tube and the igniter. We're going to spray a little bit of WD 40 on the screw that holds in the Venturi and a couple of squirts of the WD-40 on the screws that hold on the igniter. These screws can tend to get hot and I'm just spinning off this quarter inch screw at the end of the Venturi tube. Now I'm going to pull the Venturi out away from the oven, turn this on the side, and then I can remove these screws that are holding in the igniter. So I'll put a little bit more spray on their threads. Taking a standard head screwdriver. And I'm going to just do my lefty loosey to get it started on the standard head part of the screw. And then I'll flip it over and I'll spin off the little nuts that are holding the igniter on. But it really is good to use a little bit of brake free or WD 40, some type of a lubricant, even a drop of oil would work just to get the threads lubricated so it's more likely that you can get off the nut and get off the screw without it breaking the, the fastener or stripping out the threads, which is pretty common if you don't use a lubricant. So just spinning those off and then we can easily pull the igniter free from the Venturi. There we go. I'm looking at the Venturi tube and I see that some of the jets, some of the little holes are clogged. So I'm going to take a small dental tool and you can get these also at automotive supply stores. I'm just going to open up these holes so the gas can come out, especially near the igniter. They tend to get fouled up. So I want to free those, free those holes up so the gas can freely flow over the igniter and easily ignite. You can also use a wire brush, works fine. Just want to look at all these jets, these holes, and make sure that they're somewhat unclogged. I'll give you a more even uh, flame too, more even heat. So we got that out. So we're just making sure that we have all these gas jets cleaned and again, you can use a wire brush to work fine, <coughs> or you can use a straightened out paper clip, anything that'll get in these little holes. And we're just getting rid of some of the junk that builds up over the years. But if you get it all clear, it will definitely heat more evenly. Now we're ready to put the new igniter. Here's the part number for the new igniter. This is just a what we call a flat igniter that's used for a lot of different models. So we got the new igniter, I'm going to put that onto the Venturi tube. We'll put in the little standard head screws and then we'll just screw on the nuts that go on behind them to hold them on. And because we did put a little lubrication on the threads, it's pretty easy to do. Once we get the nuts finger tight, we can uh, tighten it up a little bit more with the standard head screwdriver from the other side. But on this particular model of the J Dynasty oven, this is a pretty easy replacement for the bake igniter. So I'm just tightening it up now with the standard head screwdriver. Make sure it's locked into position.
And these igniters tend to last about eight to 10 years, and then they start to not get hot enough, so they have a delayed ignition, or sometimes it won't ignite at all. And then all you gotta do is just buy one of these igniters and get it locked into position and splice in the wires and you're done. So you're putting the Venturi tube plus the new igniter into position inside the oven. We're going to push it in and then we'll pull back a, a little bit toward us so that the Venturi aligns with the gas supply. So we're going in this hole here, lining it up, and we'll put in that quarter inch screw there at the end that holds the Venturi tube in position. Done so the venturi tube is secured. I'm going to strip back, turn make sure you have the power turned off. I'm going to strip back a little bit about a quarter inch of wire from the supply line that's bringing power to the igniter. And then the kit comes with little white ceramic wire nuts, which are great. So they help lock in the two wires. They help splice the wire supply line to the new igniter. And because they're ceramic, they don't melt under the heavy heat. So I'll grab the supply line, bring power to the igniter and the igniter wire. I'll put the wire nut on there and I'll go righty tighty, get it to a point where it won't turn anymore, and I know I have it really tight. There's one, and the other side. Doesn't matter with the alternating current, doesn't matter which way you do this. So you can, direct current, you have to be more cognizant of the polarity, but with alternating current, either, either wire is gonna be okay. So we got those on tight, we're gonna tuck those away put it all back together and give it a test and we have good bake function. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.